Hi guys doing and welcome to another ARK Garage video. If you want to see more Alfa Romeo related content make sure to hit like, share and subscribe. Today I'm going to be programming in the new remote on this Alfa Romeo GT. Uh, you can use this same process to either program in the new remote or to reprogram your existing key if it stopped working due to the software issues. Now this is the spare key that I got with my Alfa Romeo GT as you can see right here it doesn't have the remote so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take it apart I'm gonna take out the little transponder chip and the metal piece which is basically the key itself and I'm gonna mount those two things on on this old remote which I got left over from one of my previous Alfa and we are basically gonna reprogram it. To do that you're gonna need a full version of multi ECU scan, uh, you're gonna need your M cable and you're gonna need your key code card as well. Alright the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna take out the transponder and the key part out of this key and put it onto the one with the remote. Now I got my key all set up, it's able to start the car but the remote still doesn't work of course. Now one thing you gotta remember is you gotta have both keys when you do the remote programming because uh, you have to program in both of them. So every time you do the uh, remote programming you, you gotta have all of your keys with you. The first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take my ELM cable and I'm going to plug it in into the OBD port. Uh, I'm moving on to my laptop, I've opened up the multi ECU scan, the uh, registered version, I've selected the Alpha GT 1.8, the system is body and the control module is body, body computer Morelli. I'm going to hit connect and we are connected. I'm gonna go straight away to adjustments and to remote control programming. Uh, if you do this yourself make sure that you read all of the notes stated right here. I'm gonna hit execute and now I'm gonna press Y. This is where the window will open up so you can enter the security code. I'm gonna enter it and I'm gonna hit OK. Uh, now I'm gonna hit Y and uh, I'm gonna press the unlock button on the on my original key which is already in the ignition and in MAR position. So I'm gonna hit Y and I'm gonna unpress I'm gonna press the unlock button. Alright, the original key is registered. Now I'm gonna hit Y again. I'm going to repeat the same process for my second key. I'm going to hit Y and now I'm going to press the unlock button on my new key. Alright, and that is basically it. Now I'm going to hit Y again. Uh, since I don't have any more keys, I'm going to press N. And we are done. One last thing I got to do is uh, check if all of the keys work. This is original key and it locks unlocks and it's able to pop up the trunk. Now let's see if the new key works. Uh, here's the new key, let's try it out. If I hit the lock button, <coughs> it locks the car, let's try the unlock. The unlock works as well. Let's see the trunk, the trunk pops up as well. So that would be basically it. If you uh, like the video, hit the like button and support our channel by subscribing. 